Hello. Did you know that Achana limbata is the smallest in the snakehead species family? Chana limbata, also known as the dwarf snakehead, can grow up to 8 inches. The male is beautiful, as the colors in both the upper abdomen and the fins tend to be bluish. At the end of the upper fins and the tail, it has an orange slash red stripe. Females are usually just plain brown in color. The species inhabit higher ground areas, like jungle streams, swamps, and in upland areas up to 3,500 meters. Like others in the genus, it can tolerate hypoxic conditions due to its ability to breathe atmospheric air. This dwarf species is very widely distributed. It can be found in China, Indochina, Myanmar, the Andaman Islands, India, Sri Lanka, Afghanistan to Iran. To the south, it's scattered from Thailand, Peninsular Malaysia, Singapore, Sumatra, Borneo, Java, and Madura. Recently, this fish became one of the hottest fish in the market. The demand by aquarists is very high. You can usually hunt them anytime because they can be found in inlands with small streams, shallow swamps, and in slow-moving rivers in the jungle. The Chana limbata is an obligate predator, feeding mostly on smaller fishes. Prawns and insects also are some of the things that are on its menu, but in most cases, it tends to adapt well instead of the alternative, living in captivity. So, to hunt it using smaller, soft baits like brudu worms is perfect. You can also use the sea louse spoon or any small spoon. Any small fly baits should also work well. Ultralight setup is the best, just because these fish are really small, and so you should enjoy it. The Chana Limbata is a fierce fish. They can keep attacking your baits even though you've missed it a few times. They're always hiding under structures such as weeds, holes, or under dead leaves. Small soft baits and spoons that weigh not more than 1.5 grams with lengths of 2 centimeters and below are just perfect for them. Cast and jerk it slow. They are a territorial species, so anything that drops within the range, they will attack. The fish is getting really popular, and it should be hard to find soon, so practicing catch and release is highly welcome. So, do your best to protect the fish. Use landing nets and proper hooks, and release them back safely for the future and for the rest of nature. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you again soon. Cheers.